Deontay, just how fun was it tonight defensively, especially in that second half? You take a team that's averaged 30 points coming into this one, hold them to 10. Uh, it was extremely fun, man. I just, like the whole time, we just had energy, and that's what that's what we play off of, momentum, energy. We just keep it rolling. And we love what we was doing out there, and we're going to keep it rolling next Saturday. What was the plan coming into this one? I mean, like I said, they averaged a lot, one of the better teams in the, in the West Division of this conference, and you guys came and shut them down. Uh, one of the main plans was we just got to take it one play at a time. Like, one play at a time. You know, we gave up one big play, but we stayed with it, one play at a time. Next play mentality and tackling in this space was the main thing because they rely on their receivers to get yards after the catch. How about the turnovers tonight? That, I imagine that made it a lot more fun out there, right? Yeah, the turnovers, we harp on that every day. We, we practice it every day. We do strip attempts, you know, get as many interceptions as you can. And today we, we put it all together and we made it happen. Your forced fumble right there at the goal line. Walk me through that play and it felt like that, that play in particular shifted everything for this game. Uh, I was upset with myself. Like it, it was like an anger play, but I used my technique. I'm supposed to stay inside. He beat me inside, but the play is not over. I just kept playing. Got my hand on the ball. Perfect punch out. We scooped it, ran about 40 yards, and offense put it in for the touchdown after that. You you mentioned an anger play. Do you think he scored right there because how close you guys were or what? Just angry I, that he caught it. Honestly, I didn't think he scored because I'm, I'm playing through the whistle. Mm -hmm. And when, once I punched it out, I heard no whistle. I knew he fumbled. So, you know, celebrated with my team and got the touchdown. You know, a lot of – Sorry, I know a lot of times defenses want to get off the field because that means good things, but it felt like that second half you guys couldn't get off the field, but you weren't getting tired. It felt like every time you guys were producing. Did you guys feel that way? Yeah, like as, as a defense, like we're, we're a very good defense. We believe we're one of the top defenses in the nation, and it don't matter if you're tired. We got we to gotta go get it. Next play, one play at a time, catch your breath, and let's do it. Just to, even to get a touchdown out of it. I mean, you get some turnovers, but now it's two straight weeks and this defense is, has forced a touchdown. We've heard about the brotherhood that this defense has, but just uh, especially tonight's performance, how, how much you guys just really thrive on that and just enjoy the, the scores that you're getting? Uh, this, this one is, like, great. We're going we're gonna to enjoy this one until the wheels fall off, man. The coach was telling us this. You stick with it, stay, stay with your brothers. This is going to be the biggest one y'all have, have ever had. And it may not look like it to the outside world, but yeah, we're going we gonna to ride on this one for a while. This one also now guarantees you all a bowl game. I know you got one more to go, but just how good does that part of it feel that you've got a postseason bid locked up? Yeah, it feels good. My freshman year, we went to a bowl game, and we came up short. And sophomore year, we didn't get there. And junior year, we right back, and we're we going to get the win this time, definitely.